Hi. Okay, so I like to keep this stuff on hand in case my aquarium decides it wants to start leaking. That's what exactly it did again the other day. And what I should have done the last time, I should have completely sealed the inside and the outside because I did most of it, but I ran out of sealant. I should have went and got more, but at the time I didn't. And so, like, I don't know, a few days ago, maybe about a week ago or so, I was like, oh no, I was like walking over by the corner and I'm feeling like water and I'm like, there's water right here, what's going on? And then I feel a little tiny little hole and water's leaking out of the aquarium. And I'm like, oh no. And I'm like, I gotta put a bucket there and um, let the water go in there. And I was like, this is really slow, so it's gonna, it's gonna take a long time before it does anything. Um, water's not gonna rush out of there and it's a big aquarium, so they have plenty of air bubbles, a lot of filtration. So I was like, okay, so I'm gonna go get some aquarium sealant and this stuff works really good hmm I hope I'm saying the name right I think I am um, it's called Aquian aquarium sealant and it's a hundred percent silicone so see there it is and I just put this on but what I do I always just take the lid off um, when I'm sealing it I'd rather do that way and I kind of go like like downwards and um, it has the directions and instructions right there, how how to do it right there, and um, you can look at it and look it up online, and see where you can uh, where it's available at. Because I know from time to time, um, so you can see the writing right there too. I don't know, but hopefully you can see it. I hope so. But it um, tells you about everything that it helps with the aquarium, and it does work sealant. I just I should have had more to do the outside because I like to do the outside and the inside, like. Um, like if you see like like right there there's the sides i like to do the inside and the outside to make sure it's completely sealed and i ran out because he used quite a bit <laughs> i did a lot for this last repair but i still have to watch it because it has like still like a little bit leaking out but it's slowing down so i'm probably going to go over it again um either today or tomorrow but um i'm just letting letting like whatever i did so far let it make sure it's completely dry and then I'm going to put a little more on there because there was some still leaking out but it's a lot better than it was and it's slowing down too because there's less, not as much water uh, the water is leaking really super slow and um, it's not so bad right now so I'm going to try um, to do it again because like the water's pretty much like like kind of like not even dripping out anymore so I'm going to wait like another day and let it finish drying. Then I'm going to apply the rest of this to where the, the, the last part of the leak is. I, I'm doing it from the outside, not the inside. So, um, and I got the water, the water's in there, but I'm doing the outside because the outside's where the problem is, not really the inside. Because I did the inside really good um, a long time ago. Um, and I had to take the fish out of there, let it dry out, and then clean the aquarium. Then, it's that process, but you can read the directions and instructions and always follow the precautionary warnings, okay? If you do the inside, um, it shows you how to do it. Make sure that all the water's out of the aquarium. Um, it tells you right there how to do it. You have to make sure it's dry and clean. And then you can seal it. And it takes a little while to let it dry. I have to let it dry a couple days. And then I put the sealant on and let that dry for a couple days but you can read the directions and instructions and precautionary warnings they have all that for you you can read I always say please please read the instructions directions and precautionary warnings okay and um but for me i had to do the outside and so um it's it's slowing down the leak it's pretty much gone but um probably another day or two i'm just gonna um finish it up and do some more of it and um you tell about how much I use so far. And th this one is clear. And they also have um, um, this silicone and block, which I prefer the block, but they don't have the block right now. Um, where I want to go with it, because I was kind of emergency. I was like, I just need to get this stuff. I need to get it. I got to get this aquarium fixed. And um, I don't understand why it keeps wanting to leak, but um, I've had problems with this aquarium from time to time. But. Um, 
my other programs are doing really good. Um, like I told you, if, if you watch my other videos, you know that I have aquariums, right? So, um, and all my fishies are happy. They're all doing fine. Um, after I'm doing all this, they're, they're okay. It's just, um, the aquarium is doing a lot better and I'm happy and, um, I just wanted to let you know about this, just in case you you have like aquarium leak problems and stuff. If your aquarium's leaking, uh, this stuff does work. But um, I did like a really thick coat, and um, what happened was the last time I I ran, I should have went and got an air tube. But depending on the size of your aquarium, you might need a couple tubes of this. Um, I always like to go over it like um, a thick thick coat and leave it there. Let it dry completely. And make sure that the aquarium's not leaking. But I needed the other tube to finish sealing up the outside. Which now I sealed out, sealed all the four corners of the outside. So it's double sealed. And this one little spot I gotta do now because I think it's dry there. So I'm gonna do that spot again. And I hope I have good luck. And I think I will. Um, I'm feeling good about this. And so I just want to share it with you guys, okay? And you can see all the... They have all everything, directions, instructions, precautionary warnings. You just have to look online to see where they have it and stuff. Um, it does work really, really good. And this is the other part of it, okay? And they have this in clear or in black. So depending on what color you prefer, um, it, you know, um, some aquariums have clear silicone, some have black um, silicone. It just depends, but there is two colors. You just have to look online and um, see where they have it available in stores and stuff. Um, so this one, I was lucky to get it because there was like one more left besides this one. And I'm just happy that they had it. I went to get the, the black one, but they didn't have it. And then if you guys watch my other videos too, you can see um, that I have other stuff. Um, fish food that my fish really, really love. And I have... Um, the, the algae reducer, I did a video about that where it reduces, um, if you have cloudy water or green water, it clears it up and it gets the green, the green to calm down and the algae to calm down. It does work really, really good. And then I also had another video about uh, water changing. Um, you put a little bit in to dechlorinate it. Um, you can look at that video too, like for changing water. That one's really handy too. Um, it's a very good um, to, to to get rid of all the chlorine out of the fresh water when you want to change your um, your aquarium water. Um, it works really really good, and it keeps the the fish happy, and so they're not nervous with the water change. So my fish are really good. They're used to me changing their water because they I do it a lot. Um, at least once or twice a month I do it. But you can read the directions on that too. I think it's called Aqua Safe. It's in a yellow ball. You can look at the video back there that I have. And um, that will tell you about that. And I wanted to tell you guys about all the stuff that I use for my aquariums. Okay. And I have platies. And I have angelfish. And I have algae eaters. And like I said before, the algae eaters. They don't really care for the algae. What they like, they like the fish food. The tetramen, they love that. They love that food. Mm, they like, they prefer that than the algae. But they have fun. They're pretty good sized algae eaters that I have. They've gotten really big. Really big. So if you want to get this, it does work really, really good for the aquarium sealant, okay? And like my video, please. Subscribe, please, and comment if you want, okay? And you can let me know what kind of fishies you have. And i um, be happy to hear about your fishies, okay? And my fishies are doing really, really good, and they're happy. They love to eat their food. They love that food, so I want to let you guys know about that food. I don't know what you guys like to feed your fish. Or what aquarium. Maybe you know another aquarium sealant. But this is one that I know about that I've used before. And, um... Probably gonna have to get some more because it's always good to have this just in case of emergency. If your aquarium starts leaking or something, it's good to have this. I like to have this. And I like to have like a backup aquarium too. So if I do have an aquarium that happens to leak, I can move the fish to another aquarium and make sure I have, uh, um, 
you know, um, good filtration, a bunch of air, and have a couple pumps hooked up. And um, cause my fishies like a lot of air and a lot of filtration. And they stay happy. So I always have like a backup aquarium. Okay, guys. So I hope you like my video. And um, subscribe, please, and comment, okay, if you want. Okay, so I want to tell you guys about this Aquian, Aquian Silicone Aquarium Sealant. Okay, I got it, guys. See? Okay, and always just read the directions and instructions and precautionary warnings before you do it, okay? So read all the directions and everything, okay? First, please, okay? Okay, and I'll see you guys soon, okay? Have a good day. Bye-bye.